Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy Garrett Fankhauser here with FFL Funnels. For those of you who do not know who I am or what we do, uh, I run an agency um, and we focus on helping FFL dealers build online marketing systems that boost them to six figures plus per month. Okay, so if you are not there, this content here is designed to help you get to a place where you're able to then roll some of that cash back into your business and invest in a marketing system that will help you get to those six figure months if that's what you're looking to do. Uh, cool. So today we're going to talk about something super important. This is something that I have recently learned. Um, and I really want to share with you guys because many of you guys, I think, are under the assumption that there um, are these very specific rules that really need to be adhered to uh, in order to be successful. So um, I'm here one today to kind of shatter that uh, perception for you and hopefully reframe and reshape that belief around something that's really going to help you with your content, uh, your systems and things like that what you do and how you do it um, to better to get you guys better freaking results. That's literally all these videos are for or to help you guys get better results. And again, I told you that the reason for that one is so that I can help you guys that um, maybe that we're not a good fit to work together or whatever. Uh, but two, just for transparency, like I want to help you guys get to a place so that you're then able to work with me and we can blow you guys up, get you to those six figure months, uh, bring on employees, go full time, whatever it is that your actual goals are around that type of stuff. That is our goal to help you get you there. Okay, cool. So we're going to cover the number one rule, right? And this is going to be something that's that might blow a couple of you guys brains, right? The number one rule in marketing is this. The number one rule in marketing is that there are no rules. If I can grab this and drag this and then reposition, the number one rule is that there are no rules, okay? So what that means is that you're gonna hear a lot of things, like you have to do X, Y, and Z in order to be successful. And I will tell you a few of those things as well. But what I want you guys to realize is that one, when I tell you this stuff, um, it's based on years of actual research and development that we've done. Um, but what I want you guys to also understand is that none of this is necessarily exactly what you need today at this point in time for your business to become successful. Okay. So there's not any specific set of rules that you need to follow in any specific order that are always going to work. Okay, so that leads us to number two. This is the most important thing. Why is that down there? That is dumb. Okay, the most important thing is to test everything, okay? This is literally the most important thing right here. Test absolutely everything. What I mean by that is you know, like I said, the stuff that I teach you guys, what we do is study uh, other FFL dealers that are ab absolutely crushing it. Uh, I study other industries, right? Uh, attorneys, um, doctors, you know, literally every industry, right? Plumbers, electricians, roofers, you know, all the contractors, all that stuff, uh, e-commerce stuff, right? Amazon, like literally I study all of these different things. And what I do is I pull those applications and say, this is killer. I spin that into an FFL centric um, tool, right? Or, or um, procedure. I then test it. And then once I determine that it actually works and it will help, that's when I share it with you guys, right? So that's why like right now it's been a little bit since uh, I've been able to create content around some of the things that you guys are waiting for. It's because I'm in a testing phase right now. We've been making a lot of changes with our agency right now, um, playing catch up, trying to get some stuff out for some of you guys as, as clients. Uh, but in doing so, we're doing a lot of testing to make sure that everything is absolutely 100% gonna knock it out of the park before I release something that's not going to work, okay? Um, but that comes back to what I'm talking about here is the most important thing is to take these rules, right? whether you hear them from me or somebody else and actually do them, 
but test them, okay? Don't just like make a change to your website and then just expect that it's going to do better. Look at what it does, track it, analyze your Google Analytics, your Google Search Console, if you're using a third-party SEO tool or website monitoring tool uh, or traffic tool or whatever, keep an eye on that. Make sure that it's actually making a difference. If it's making things worse, undo it, okay? So that's where it comes back to there are no rules. If you do something and it makes things worse and you can foresee that it's going to keep things worse in the long run, right? If it makes things worse but then things get way better, that might be something beneficial, right? Like if you uh, maybe change some hyperlinks on some of your website content, uh, that might hurt your rankings quick um, in the short term, but maybe long term it's going to help you rank for other, um, you know, better keywords or whatever uh, based on your new hyperlinks, right? So that might be something where like it hurts you initially, but then it grows and, and, and does better as time goes on. So. These are two really important things that I want you guys to think about with your business. And when you go through all this content is take these rules, apply them, use them, but also monitor them and test them against uh, maybe different things. I don't have every answer for you guys. I know what we've done that I've tested that works really well. And that's why I really tend to stick to a few things. Many of you guys are asking me, um, about different types of marketing and things like that. And I don't have an answer for you because I'm not going to recommend something for you that I don't know works. Okay. That is something that you have my complete and utter honesty on. If I don't know that it's going to get you results, I'm not going to recommend that you do it. Okay. Um, and I recommend that you catch yourself chasing shiny objects, uh, because, this is something that happens to many of us as business owners and it happens to me all the fucking time, all the time, especially being online based, right? I buy a lot of software and I test it and then I'll, honestly, most of the time I end up returning it um, because it doesn't provide the expected results that I had. So what I want you guys to be really careful of is investing in something like equipment or um you know, all this inventory that you don't even know if you're going to be able to move it, like be wary in investing in that type of stuff. And the things that you do invest in, look at this, right? So I'm going to put another rule here for you. I got a bonus one for you right here. Bonus, if I can spell it right. Bonus rule right here would be, let me, I don't want this to be highlighted. The bonus rule right here is going to be that you want to you want to make sure that everything is input versus output right so let's do input versus output and i might have covered this in other videos and if i did cool you're gonna kind of go through it again um but basically what we're looking for in this is we want to make sure that our inputs versus our outputs we want to put one in and get at least two back, right? We wanna make sure that we focus on the things that are important in the aspect of we put less effort in and get more in return out, right? It's kind of like investing your money. You wanna invest $1, you wanna get two back at least, right? Three, four, five, 10, 20, 50, 100 would be better, but you wanna make sure that you're not putting $1 in and getting 1.1 back, right? 10 cents on your dollar, like leaving your money in a bank and shit like that. Uh, but this is more in a business aspect, right? This is more along the lines of when you invest in something for your business, uh, let's use like an online marketing system, for example, like some of the things that we do, you wanna make sure that whatever you put into it, the time and the money and the energy is going to pay you exponentially for the next years, right? That is where you put in one and you get two, five, 20, 100 out of it, right? So this is the bonus right here that I want you guys to think about as well. Um, is what you put in, you wanna make sure that you're putting in less and getting more out. So that means to be very uh, strategic with what you guys are investing your time and your energy into. 
A good example of this is many of you guys are trying to get into advanced SEO yourselves, which I think is really cool. And some of you guys will and um, do very well at it. But what I recommend for most of you guys is if this isn't your bag, like if this isn't what you're good at, if this isn't um, something that you plan on being an expert in, hire somebody else to do it. I don't care if it's me or it's somebody else, but make sure that you find somebody that knows what the fuck they're doing outsource that to somebody else and you focus in your zone of genius only, right? Because if not, let's say that you spend, I'm going to change color on this because it's really dark. Uh, Let's say that you spend 20 hours a month working on your website's SEO. Well, let's say that uh, that 20 hours a month, you value yourself at, you know, hundred bucks an hour, right? So a hundred times 20, right? Just so you guys can see it, that's $2,000, right? So you're caught, you're losing, you're spending $2,000 a month to learn this stuff, or you could just hire somebody that's going to do it for half the price that already knows what the fuck they're doing and is going to knock it out of the park for you. You can focus in your zone of genius, um, and you can test everything, right? You can test everything as you go along right so this is kind of like a hierarchical step where like this is something that's very important for you to know this is something that is very important for you to do and then this is something that's very important for you to focus on as you're making these decisions for your business so that you can make the proper decisions that are going to actually help your business instead of hold you back right the biggest thing that you can lose here i know many of you guys are in in a situation where the you think the biggest thing that you can lose here is money money is easy to make the biggest thing that you can lose here is time you can't buy time you can you can um arbitrage time right like you can hire somebody else to do the work for you but we all only have 24 hours in a day right most of us sleep six seven eight hours whatever right so you what do you have 16 right and i really want you guys to focus on these three things as being um, critical axioms to follow with your business. Okay. I hope this is helpful. Um, I got more content coming from, for you guys. That's going to be more around like the actual like website type stuff and social media that you guys are more interested in. Uh, But like I said, we're in a a testing phase right now and we're putting out a hell of a lot of um, new products and, and services for, for some clients that we're working with. Um, and I want to make sure that these absolutely murder it, the, this new stuff that I have, so that I can then share that and the results with you guys. Cool? So hang in there with me. Make sure to check everything out as far as uh, the guides in the group. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to check the description and join the group. If you're watching this in the group, make sure to check us out on YouTube. Like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm going to be putting out uh, individual content on each platform at some point too. Um, so there will be things, there will be reasons to go to YouTube instead of the group. And there will be reasons to go to the group instead of YouTube. Cool. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.